in this video we are going to cover the operators in uh, Kotlin so I have already listed the type of operators and the operators here so the first type of operators are arithmetic operators so here is the list of arithmetic operators the first one is the addition so whenever I use the plus sign uh, we are going to use it for addition so the addition can be of two integers or it can be of uh, two strings also it is known as string uh, concent concat concatenation and we will be uh, knowing about it in a while so the, another arithmetic operator is the minus sign or the subtraction so it is a subtraction op subtraction operator uh, when i use it it generally subtract one integer from other or one variable from other okay the other is the multiplication operator okay it is self explanatory so when i uh, use it it is used to multiply the uh, data type the other is uh, division data type so whenever i use the division operator so whenever i use the slash so it generally means that we have to define uh, we have to divide one variable from other so here interesting part is the uh, the percentage sign or the modulus operator so the modulus operator retain uh, returns the remainder so i'll just make a function and explain all this to you so i will create a value a equals to 15 and b equals to uh, 5 okay so i'll just print all these uh, the result of all these operators so a plus b and i'll just copy it okay so plus minus uh, multiplication division and the modulus operator so you can already uh, guess the result and we will be seeing it in a while so the result of this will be uh, 20 the result of this will be 10 the result of this will be 15 into 5 the result of this will be 15 divided by 5 that is 3 what will be the result of this the result of this will be 0 so it returns the uh, the remainder when a is divided by v so uh, i'll just so these are explainable what i'll do is i'll make it 17 here and run the program again so now what will be the uh, well uh, the result the printed so it is 2 so when 17 is divided by 5 it is 3 times 5 plus 2 so the remainder is 2 so the result of the modulus operator is 2 okay i hope it is clear so moving on we have uh, comparison operators so okay before that okay nee. so uh, we have comparison operators so the first one is uh, we uh, the uh, the less than sign so whenever uh, a is less than b so i'll just make so can you guess what will be the result of an comparison operator it will be a boolean so whenever i'll compare a less than b okay so when i run this program what will be the result is a is less than b no so the result will be false okay so mostly the result of the comparison operator is a boolean so first is less than operator second is the greater than operator third is the less than or equals to operator okay fourth is the greater than or equal to operator this is the equal to equal to operator so it's check whether a is equals to b or not is equal to operator this is this is is not equal to operator so uh, when i define both as 5 and 5 and uh, when i this do this print ln a is equals to equals to b so what will be the result what will be the output 
so the output would be true as a is equals to b okay so these are the comparison operators now we will move on to the uh, assignment operator so we have already used assignment operator here okay so the assignment operator used here is the equal to operator okay we have also plus equal to minus equal to into equal to divided by equal to and modulus equal to okay so what are the basic functionality of this so i'll explain that so what if i create a variable x which is equals to uh, a which is uh, equals to a okay so i can do that now i'll print the value of print ln x okay now what i i will do is i'll uh, assign x as x plus equals to a and now i'll print the value of x what i'll do is now i'll assign x as x minus equals to a and now i'll print the value of x now x uh, into equals to a and now print the value of x now x divided by equals to a okay so you can guess the result or we will see them and then i'll explain them to you so the results are 5 10 5 5 25 5 0 okay so first was x equals to a to print ln x so the value of a was 5 basically so here x is equals to 5 okay so here the value of x was 5 so what i did is i did x plus equals to a so this basically mean is means that x should be equal to x plus a okay so the value of x was 5 and i assigned reassigned the value of x as x plus a so the value of x here would be 10 okay i hope it was clear to you so the basically the meaning of x plus equals to a is x equals to x plus a okay so the value of x was already 5 and i here reassigned the value of x as x plus a so 5 plus 5 that is 10 now the here the value of x is 10 and this implies that x should be equals to x minus a okay so x was 10 and x was 10 and a was 5 so i sh i reassigned the value of x as 10 minus 5 so here the value of x should be 5 okay and we can check that also so here the value of x is 5 and i uh, create reassign the value of x such that x is equal, x should be equal to x into a so x is 5 a is 5 so here the reassign value of x should be 25 okay so it is pretty easy and interesting and i hope that should be clear to you so here uh, the value of reassigned value of x should be x divided by a so x was 25 a was 5 so x the new value of x should again be 5 okay and we are also seeing that it is true now it means that the reassigned value of x should be the remainder when x is divided by a so now x is 5 a is also 5 the remainder is 0 when x is divided by a so here the reassigned value of a is 0 okay so we have now completed the arithmetic comparison and the assignment operator now we will move on to the increment and the decrement operator so uh, what i do i'll do is i'll just so uh, here what is the value of x x is 0 okay so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, increase the value of x as x plus plus okay and then i'll print the value of x and then i'll do x minus minus and then again print the value of x 
okay so uh, when i have to comment this all out okay no problem uh, when if i have to comment all this out so what i can do is i can just press control and the slash button so it it is all commented out okay so the value of x is a and it is 5 so value of x is 5 when i run this program when i run this program so the output is uh, output is 6 and 5 so here the value of x was 5 and i did x plus plus the in i incremented the value of x and then printed it so it is 6 and then i decremented the value of f x and then printed it so it is 5 okay so i hope that all is clear to you and uh, before the video ends i like you to uh, make a program that that prints the sum of two number okay i hope that would be easy and uh, you will do it sum of the uh, that prints the sum of two numbers okay thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and learned thank you